The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is a fictional movie from 2008 about a German boy who was moved into the country when his father became commander of a camp. Bored and lonely, he struck up a friendship with a boy his own age who lived on the other side of the camp fence. The boy in the striped pajamas, who lived inside the camp, talked about his family members who were missing. With all the innocence of children, and neither knew the missing family members had been killed because neither of them understood it was a Nazi death camp. When his mother wanted to get away from the evil, the son slipped into the camp to help his friend look for a missing family member. While inside, he was caught up in a group of prisoners taken to a gas chamber. The story ended with the devastation of the parents when they found out their son was dead. The story simply and powerfully demonstrates the ability of people to lie to themselves about the evil they do right up until they're consumed by it. Perhaps that's America with our seemingly unstoppable abortion death camps. Judges 9 reveals a sordid event after the death of Gideon. The people of Shechem embraced an evil man and were consumed, literally burned alive in a furnace of their own making when they got caught in that trap of their own dealings with a man named Abimelech who was Gideon's illegitimate son. As discussed earlier, Gideon had refused kingship for himself and his sons, but after his death, Abimelech, a disinherited illegitimate son, decided to use his father's name and take on the role of king. His mother's family was from Shechem, so he went to the city leaders and persuaded them to crown him king, Judges 9, verses 1-3. through 3. It was a huge mistake, because he was evil, and in the process of becoming their king, used their money to hire thugs to murder Gideon's legitimate son, Judges 9, verses 4 through 5, 70 of them in fact. But instead of immediately rejecting his evil act, they went ahead and crowned him king, Judges 9, verse 6. The rest of the chapter chronicles a city being consumed by the evil it embraced until finally the people were trapped and burned to death in a tower by Abimelech, Judges 9, verse 49. Well, what lies do we tell ourselves to justify the evil we tolerate, or worse, embrace? Unless we purge it from our lives, it will consume us. Who knows but that the current instability and unrest is the just end of embracing evil here in America. But know this, the injustice perpetrated today to make up for past sins will bring its own judgment too. We need to throw ourselves at the feet of God and beg for his mercy upon all of us and then start fresh as forgiven sinners doing good in accordance with God's will. It's the only way to not end up being consumed by evil like the boy in the striped pajamas. Those are serious thoughts for today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.